Hey guys, so today I wanted to use some new makeup, mostly high end. I think it's all high end actually. Um, so we can just see what we think. <laughs> we can all try it together. <laughs> um, I talk like you all are here with me, but you know, I'm crazy like that, I guess. Um, but let's start with the eyes first, as always. Um, I did pick up a couple palettes actually. I know I'm crazy, but. Um, I got the new palette from Ofra with Samantha March, um, the Life So Draft palette. So here's what it looks like. I have used it a couple times. Um, I actually did try to film this video before and my camera messed up, all that good stuff. So anyway, <laughs> I, have, I have this palette, um, which is, these are all eyeshadows. This is a uh, blush, highlighter, and bronzer. Um, this is a really good palette, <laughs> so it's not a first impression necessarily. Um, and for the longest time, I have wanted this palette and just hadn't pulled the plug on, um, or not the plug, but the trigger, I guess, on purchasing it. Um, but Samantha March actually is someone I have started just loving watching. She has such a good personality and um, she loves this palette and talks about it a lot. So I was like, I think I need that palette in my life. So I went and purchased the Corda Rosa palette from Sigma. So I was trying to decide which one I wanted to use. Here's what the Sigma palette looks like. If I can hold it up without dropping everything. Um, so pretty, I love this palette. I used it for um, Easter. I used this to do my eyeshadow look for Easter. So, <sighs> so tempted to use Corda Rosa. What should I do, what should I do? Just because I'm trying to do a little bit more newer stuff, I'm gonna stick with Life's a Draft today. <laughs> Just because it's a little bit newer. Um, and this one came out like last year sometime. But I love this palette and I will use it in a video soon. So, um, anyway, we are going to use the Life's a Draft palette from Samantha March and Ofra. Like I said, um, such beautiful colors. She loves purples and mauves and all that good stuff. So that's what we have in here. And I'm excited to use this today. So let's start with the eyes. First off, I think I will take this first shade here. It's called 09. And I'm just gonna take a big fluffy brush into it and just kind of start patting it in my crease. Okay, and then next, I think I'm gonna take this shade over here, which is called Peace, this this one here. Um, I'm gonna change my brush though. So I'm gonna dip into that, and I'm just gonna put that in the outer corner to deepen things up a bit. I just wish the palette had a mirror, but that's okay that it doesn't. Just pull out my handy dandy handheld mirror. I'm going to take a little bit of this shade here called Honors. I'm sorry, it's called Ram. <laughs> I apologize. Looking at the wrong shade. Ofra's form formula is so blendable. Um, I only have one one other palette from them, and it was one I got in a boxy charm. But it is just such a super blendable formula, and I love it. So I'm gonna take this shade here called Maya, and I'm just gonna press that on the rest of the lid. There is some kick up in the pan, but I'm not bothered by that. Um, but I did want to mention it just in case anyone is. <laughs> so I love these. I've dipped into just about every one of them now, I think. I'm, I'm pretty sure that I've, I've dipped into just about every one, but I love them. I think they're gorgeous. Um, purples are some of my favorite shades to wear, even though I've not worn a lot of purple in a very long time. I don't know why, but I really do love them. So. <laughs> They, they're beautiful and I, I love this palette. I was trying to decide what foundation to use. I do have the Urban Decay Hydromaniac. Um, 
this is just too orange for me. I've worn it one time. Do you see how orange that looks? Very, very orange. I want to just, I'm thinking about returning it. It's too expensive not to. But I just want to give you a swatch of it, okay? Just so you can see the orangey-ness of this. It's very orange. Um, I almost feel like it oxidizes a bit too. And that could just be me, but I feel that way. I'm just not a fan of the color. I needed the light neutral. I went ahead and went up a shade because they didn't have light neutral in the store. And now I regret it. But I hate returning stuff because I'm like, they're gonna trash it. And that, that makes me feel bad <laughs> for returning something. So should I keep it until summer and then try to make it work? I don't know. I just hate to keep something that expensive. But anyway, this is something relatively new to my collection and I think I may have used it in another video so if you've seen it before pretend like it's new. <laughs> this is the Fenty Beauty um, hydrating primer. I love it. It's like a lotion-y type feel and I've worn this to work. I've worn it um, many days <laughs> and it's just so good. Even with it being a hydrating primer, it still is a good one for me. So nice. It's like my skin just drinks it right up. It's so it's thirsty for it. It's ready. I also have the Fenty Beauty Hydrating uh, Longwear Foundation. I have the shade 185. Again, I think I've worn this in a video. This is a pretty daggone good color match for me, if I do say so. Um, so, I wanted to wear it today. So, we were recently out of town visiting my new niece. I have five now. <laughs> five nieces. No nephews. On my side of the family now, my husband does have nephews, so I do have nephews by marriage. Um, but, anyway, we were out of town visiting them, and they had a Sephora close to them, which I was so excited. So, so excited. Um, I never get to go to a Sephora in-store. Um, I only order online, and so we went, and look what I have. Um, <laughs> I have a few different things, but I've actually picked up something from a brand I've never tried before and one that I really had no interest in trying. <laughs> so it's actually kind of crazy that I picked it up, but, um, I've used this and I'm kind of excited about it, but it's the Liquid Touch Brightening Concealer from Rare Beauty. I was against celebrity makeup brands for the longest time and then I got into Fenty Beauty and it's all just went downhill from there so <laughs> so here's the packaging it is so stinking cute the little thing on the top there helps open up the container so it has the craziest looking doe foot which you guys have probably already seen this this is nothing new but um I was determined I was not going to try this brand just because I, I hate putting money into rich people's pockets. But, of course, that's what we're doing with makeup anyway. So, what's the difference, you know? I don't know. But, anyway. Um, I like this a lot. So, it is like a little bit yellow. But, it's actually kind of nice. Because it kind of cancels out like any blue tones or whatever. So, it's the shade 180. I don't know if I said that or not. But, um, I'm going to blend it in. So I've been using this sponge and it's from Nakia Joy Cosmetics and I love the sponge. It's like, it's not cheap, but it's one of the best sponges I've ever used in my life. And I also picked up her velvet finishing powder and oh my gosh, this stuff is amazing. Um, I've fallen in love with it truly. <laughs> um, but it is just a um, translucent powder. And here's what it looks like. So I'm going to set my under eyes.
this oh my gosh it's so good it's replaced my favorite powders it has i just want you to see how smooth my skin looks i hope you guys can see <laughs> i have a big something in there i hope you guys can see how smooth my skin looks it's just so like flawless and beautiful i just love it love it so much okay so ulta's having a sale on all things kylie <laughs> they are i don't know why um but anyway she had this bronzer on sale so i went ahead and got it it's a pressed bronzer in khaki so i went ahead and picked that up that's what it looks like right there so i have never owned any powder products from kylie before i've only ever owned um lip kits basically and I think I've only had one of them no I've had more than one but I got this for eight dollars so I don't know if they're like phasing her out or what but everything's been on sale for a little bit now I've been using this ever since I got it, and I love it. It's such a good color, too, the khaki color for me. Um, so, I got a couple other things from Rare Beauty. I got the Stay Vulnerable Melting Blush, and I also got the Stay Vulnerable um, Glossy Lip Balm. And this is so good. It feels so, like, smooth and creamy on the lips. It feels like a balm, basically, but um, I love it. And I've used this um, Stay Vulnerable blush. It's good too. And yes, you're saying, wait a minute, isn't that a cream blush? Yes, it is. And I've used it over top of powder before and not had any issues. So here's what the packaging looks like. So cute. Here's what it looks like on the inside. A little mirror down here. Or up there, yeah. <laughs> I got the shade Nearly Neutral. And what I do is I just dip in with a brush. And then, it's hard to see in this little mirror. But then I just start putting it on. See how pretty it is? It's just a very natural color. Now, I want you to see it didn't disturb my product underneath at all. At all. And it's not sticky. I love that. However, I do like to set it. Um, just because I don't think it claims to dry down necessarily. I'll show you a swatch. I guess it. That's what it looks like on my finger. And there's the swatch of it. So, so pretty. It doesn't necessarily claim to dry down, um, but here I am like doing this on the back of my hand and all that, and it's, it's drawing down to a powder. So it's really pretty. I love this. But I am gonna take the blush out of here, which is called Six, and I'm gonna just put a little bit over top of what I've already got down, um, only just to kind of like set it down, even though I don't really feel like I need it. I still wanna put a little on there. So I'm just taking that same brush. Woo, you see that? <laughs> I promise I dipped in just a tiny, tiny bit too. A little less cray cray. Okay. And then back to Samantha's palette and getting this um, highlight. It's called Dream Chaser. This is my favorite highlight brush. Even though it's big, it just kind of like disperses it really nicely. So I'm just going to kind of dip in just a tiny bit and then kind of pat it on. See that? 
I'm gonna do my brows really quick. Okay, so I <laughs> did my brows. I did um, the brow micro filling pen from Benefit, and then I did the Precisely My Brow pencil, and then I set everything with the Gimme Brow. Okay, so let's finish these eyes. For the bottom lash line, I'm just gonna go in with this shade here called 09, and just kind of buff it. And then, just on that outer corner, I'm going to take this shade here called Ram on a pencil or a liner brush on a pencil brush. And I'm just going to take that on that outer, like third of the eye, just to kind of give a little bit of definition there. Then I'm going to take the highlighter down there, this highlighter here in Dream Chaser by Bone and Inner Corner. For the waterline, I'm just going to take the ColourPop Green Gel Liner in the shade Exit, which is white, and put that in the waterline. And then, I'm going to put just a little bit of liner on the top um, and use my Too Faced Better Than Six. And then for mascara, I'm going to use the uh, Benefit Their Real Magnet Mascara. Here's what the wand looks like on that. And it's, um, it's a rubber wand, so it's a little bit pokey. Be careful with it. <laughs> um, but I have grown to actually like this mascara. I did not in the beginning, but I'm liking it more now. So here is the mascara on one side. It's very beautiful and I like it and I wear it without false lashes or anything. I, I like it quite a bit. I think what I had to do was just kind of let it set for a little bit and a lot of mascaras you have to just let them sit and um, I'm really enjoying it a lot more now. Okay, so I have my mascara on. Um, I did put two coats on. This lashes, these lashes are always better than these. I don't know why. <laughs> but anyway, um, I am going to use my Jaclyn lip liner in the shade Caramel Latte caramel latte whatever you say and line my lips so with Samantha's collection there were three glosses and so here they are if I can hold them up here they are um, the shades are Queen Millie and peony and i'm going to use peony today i like this lip gloss i also got this free this is the long lasting liquid lipstick in the shade story um i believe she had another collab with ulta ulta <laughs> with <laughs> ofra last year and um they came out with that then i believe so um i'm just gonna put this gloss on with a lip liner and be done with that And there is the lips. I love this gloss. It is so good. I've never had an upper gloss before, um, but this is good. I wish they would bring it back and not just a mini. I wish it would be like in a full size. I'm gonna swatch this um, Rare Beauty gloss for you. It's also in the shade Nearly Neutral. And I'll let you see what it looks like, the shade of it. I'm not a good swatcher on this one because it really is more like a balm. So <laughs> it's not super opaque or anything, um, but this is the shade of it here. It's very beautiful and I love it. And I just love the feel of it on the lips. It feels so good and just nourishing and um, very good. I've been keeping this in my purse actually. So, but here is my full face of new high-end 
products that I've been loving. And um, it's not a full face of like new stuff that I've not tried before because I think everything in this video I've tried before. <laughs> I don't think anything was brand new. So um, I love it all. I think it's all great. Um, I truly do. There's nothing in, in the video that I didn't like. So I do know that I had mentioned before that I didn't like this mascara or that I was trying to like this mascara. Um, that it just wasn't my favorite and, and all that. But it honestly has grown on me and I love it now. I was even going to wear false lashes today and I decided just to not, not even worry about it. Um, but I do love this mascara so much. <laughs> I really, really do. And I think that it is one of their better mascaras, if I'm going to be honest. <laughs> um, even though they've had quite a few this is one of the better ones. So, so the only only thing that I'm not crazy about that I I didn't even use this, but the only thing I'm not crazy about is this, and it may be in going back. So yeah, but if you're looking for a good foundation, this is one, and it's not a new foundation by any means, but this is a really good one. And even though I am an oily girl, I still love it. I still wear it. I've worn it for a full eight hour day at work, and it has held up. Um, I get a little bit oily here or there, and it still it holds its own. So. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't super long. I tried to do it as quickly as possible, but we know how that goes. So I appreciate you guys so very much. I truly, truly do. And I hope, again, hope you enjoyed and I hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.